Um, okay, well, this is kind of random. I wonder what it means. It's a trap! What's going on guys? My name is James or thanks see ya and welcome back to another Minecraft mod spotlight and today we are going to be taking a look at the amazing da -da, Bibliocraft mod. <laughs> so yeah, this is a must-have mod for anyone who loves to keep all of their items and bits and pieces nice and neat and tidy and it also adds a really nice aesthetic feature to the game where you can have these really nice display items. So yeah, the reason why I like this mod and I decided to review it is because I don't know about you. But when I play Minecraft and I decide, yes, it's time to make a house, I'll make a house and I'll have, you know, the various bits and pieces like a bed and an enchanting table and this, that and the other. But when I look at it, it always feels a bit empty. Well, fear not, because this mod will definitely fill all of those empty spaces. Okay, so let's go from this side to that side. And the first thing we're going to take a look at here is called a tool rack. So this kind of does as it says, and if you'll notice here, it has like these little metal studs in it. And what this will do is it will enable you to display your tools on the wall. So how do we make this? Well, very simple. It is just a set of spruce wood slabs like so with an iron ingot in the middle. And then that will give you the spruce tool rack. However, all of these wooden items in this mod do come in all the other different wood colors, as you might just be able to see here with, you know, jungle wood and birch and that kind of thing. So depending on what color you make, you can just supplement it for the different wood. So, yeah, how do these work? Well, when you make it, all you need to do is just right click it like that and it will give you four slots. Uh, yeah, very simple. Just put your bits and pieces wherever you like and then, you know, they'll, they'll be displayed differently on the wall. Uh, you can kind of do whatever you want with these. Uh, but the reason why I think this is useful is because if you play Minecraft for a while, you tend, like, tend to start making loads and loads and loads of gear and stuff. So uh, without having to even open any chests, I can be like, ha, ah, my diamond sword is here. But yeah, as well as like digging tools and swords and stuff, you can also have things like shears and fishing rods and all that good stuff. Uh, so yeah, really cool. Right, but the next one is even cooler because it's shiny. And yeah, this is a shelf, but it's not any sort of normal type of shelf. No, because this is a potion shelf. Uh, but yeah, this is a shelf which is purely designed for potions and potions only. And I really, really like the fact that you can display potions in here. Because I don't know about you, but I think that looks pretty goddamn awesome. Yeah, uh, but yeah, this is how you make- oh! Damn it! Jump cut! Pretend you didn't see that. Ah, the hazards of creative mode. But uh, yeah, okay, so I've rearranged the pattern because I couldn't remember it off the top of my head. Uh, but yeah, once again, it is a very simple crafting recipe. We have here slabs across the top, slabs across the bottom, normal wood planks to the left and the right, and an empty glass bottle in the middle, and then that will give us our specialized potion shelf. Now, just quickly, the, the other good thing about this mod is that every single crafting recipe is really, really cheap to make, or relatively cheap to make. So you're not going to have to go and find yourself nether stars and blaze rods and all that jazz. Uh, you know, it's just kind of sticking to the basics, which is cool. But yeah, once again, this is a right-click feature, so when you right-click it, you'll have yourself your potion shelf. Now, it has a lot of storage per shelf, so it's actually three lines of four. And once again, you can just choose to display these wherever you want. So we can have all four at the top if we want. We can have, uh, you know, sort of one like that. However you want, really. But I think that it adds a really nice dash of color to your room, especially if you have, like, a brewing area with, uh, you know, sort of the, the brewing bits and pieces and the cauldron and all that. It will look really, really cool. So yeah, moving on to the next one, we have bookshelves. And I hear you say, but James, we already have bookshelves in Minecraft. Well, you're right. But these are actually useful bookshelves because they actually do what a bookshelf is supposed to do. And it allows you to store books. So yeah, how do you make a bookshelf, James? Well, you put wood planks down the side like so. And then on the other side with some normal slabs down the middle. And then voila, we have ourselves a bookshelf. And then once again, it is a right click function. So just right click it and you can store yourself books. So these here are written books, however, you can also store yourself enchanted books, which is a really cool feature, and I think that if I were to use this, I would use enchanted books in like an enchanting room, um, because you know it's really easy to see, they look really cool on screen, and it's simple and quick and efficient to find which ones you're looking for. It's just a simple right click and then boom, you can have a look around. Also a nice feature is that the, the books are in different colors. So for example, if I, if I just remove like all the books from here, so if I get rid of them, obviously the shelf will go blank. However, if I just put a load of books in like, like that, they'll all come in the different colors, which once again, just adds some really nice color to a room and it kind of lifts it out of the wall and it makes it look really nice and homely. 
Why have I got all those books? Oh, I'll get rid of those. Okay. So, moving on to the next thing here. We have these, and I'm sure your eyes were drawn to them right from the beginning, but these are armor stands, and it is a fantastic way, once again, to display your armor sets. So these will work with every armor set, and once again, they're pretty cheap to make. It's just some stone slabs like that, and some iron ingots. And then, yeah, you can just basically display your armor. So obviously we have helmet, chest plate, leggings, and boots. And you can have whatever different sets you want. So you can keep them as an archive. You can use them as a statue. You can just punch them if you want. I'm going to do this in survival mode. There you go. Uh, you can do whatever you want with them, really. But just a really nice little feature. Especially if you wanted to make, like, an armory or something. But yeah, also another feature which was actually in this chest as well are these little things here. And these are actually chest labelers. So you can stick these on chests, you can stick them on walls. Uh, but effectively, it's just a really quick and small labeling system for what is actually in your chest. So for example, if I had a chest full of diamonds, I could just put it on there and then it would you know, show me. Uh, if you want to interact with this, though, you actually have to shift click and then right click. And then you actually have three different slots. So you can put three different items in here and it will shrink them. So if I had a chest with potions, diamonds and records in, then I could see that I have a, a chest with that or, you know, I could use it for blocks or whatever. Once again, just a really nice way of keeping all your things neat and tidy and keeping knowledge of where you have your stuff. So, what's even better than not even having to look into a chest? Well, you can just simply use shelves. So this is how you make a shelf. Uh, once again, slabs on the top, one plank in the middle, slabs on the bottom. Nice and cheap again, and then you will have yourselves these, these shelves. So they have, like, groups of four, basically, and you can put any item on these. So I have a diamond and a, a gold ingot, but... Um, the cool thing about these is they actually do stack, so for example here I could just put 64 ingots, and it will only look like one, but when I right click it I will have 64. So a fantastic way of storing your items, and obviously they're kind of like, you know, the blocks and stuff are 3D. It basically plays off the principle of picture frames, but it makes it really, really cool. <laughs> so uh, yeah, really nice. Now the final thing that we're going to take a look at is probably and arguably the best thing in the mod, because these are display cases. Now, these are made very simply like this, um, so we have a piece of wool in the middle, a piece of glass at the top, and then slabs all around it. However, you will notice that these are different colours, and these actually come in red, green, blue, and black. And how these work, well basically you have to have your empty hand, and then you can actually open these up <laughs> by shift right clicking, and then you can store like a special item in here. So, for example, if you had a, an amazing bow that killed 500 creepers, you can keep it special and locked up in your thing. If you had the flint and tinder that burnt down the entire jungle, or you burnt down your friend's house and you want to troll him, then you can keep it inside this case. So when he visits your house, he can be like, God damn you. And then, whoop, finally, we can have a, the golden hoe of wonder. So, uh, <laughs> that's not gold, that's diamond. The diamond hoe of wonder. And yeah, you can open and close these till your heart's content, and uh, it's a really nice way of displaying some cool items. So it's a simple right click once it's opened, you can drop your item in, and then shift click to close it. So yeah, that is the Bibliocraft mod as a whole. Loads of amazing storage facilities and items, display, aesthetic, that kind of thing. And I think it's a really, really cool mod. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I do hope you enjoyed it. Incidentally, if this is the first time you've ever heard uh, or seen any of my videos, my name is James, or thanks, see ya. And if you would like to see some more, please consider subscribing to the channel or checking out some more of my videos. If you do, I really hope you enjoy them. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on it. That would be super specially awesomely appreciated. But until next time, thanks once again for watching. It has been a pleasure. As always, thanks, and see ya!